Well, hi there. Sly Guy 73 again. You know, it's a very frustrating experience when you walk into a fast food restaurant or any other establishment. You make a purchase and you're given the incorrect change. It's especially troubling when you realize that the clerk handing out the change has a cash register right there in front of them that has a built-in computer that actually tells them what the correct change is. It seems like since the advent of the marriage of computers with cash registers, the practice of giving out correct change has become a lost art. But it's really not all that hard to do. In fact, it doesn't even require any math. It's just a simple matter of counting. Let's review exactly how you can make correct change each time and every time. Hmm? Okay, I've set up a little pretend cash register here with my pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, and an assortment of bills. So let's say you're a clerk in McDonald's, for instance, and someone comes in and they make an order and after you figure it up, it comes out to $17.89. So you say, that'll be $17.89, please. So let's say the customer gives you a 20. All right. This is real simple now. The, the amount of the purchase is $17.89. So you simply count from that point up to the amount of money they gave you, and you'll have the correct change. So $17.89, you pick up a penny, that's $17.90. You pick up a dime, that's $18. 19 and 20 and then when you hand the customer the change you count it back to them you say 1789 1790 18 19 and 20 and thank you very much you see, it's real simple. It does not even involve any math. All you have to be able to do is count. If you do it this way, each time, every time, you'll never give out wrong change again. So, there you have it. You can make the correct change each time, every time, no matter how much the purchase is, just by counting from the amount of the purchase up to the amount that the customer hands you. No math involved, only counting. Wouldn't it have been a great thing if in high school they could have taught math without actually using math, just like we have here? <laughs> you take care now. And until next time, this is Sly Guy. You enjoy yourself out there. Oh, and if you like these little tips, please hit like and subscribe. That would be mighty decent of you. Take care now.